Good morning, everyone. I am I Martinez, and it's David's Friday. So, today's quote is, Friends are the family you choose for yourself by Megan March. So, let's talk about it. Let's talk about how this quote is relevant to something in my life. Well, I don't know if I already told you guys or not, because... My memory is not the best. But right after I had my twins, um, I distanced myself from my family. Not going to get into why. But I didn't have anybody other than my ex. And that was really it. Um, But he pushed me to reconnect with my best friend. Um, She wasn't my best friend at the time. But she became my best friend and she's my sister now she was my brother's ex and the mother of my niece and after we reconnected she was there for me through everything like splitting up with my ex you know helping me get stuff done because I didn't drive and she helped me so much and her family took me in when I didn't have my family and we were always welcome at family events, family gatherings where it was only family and they didn't treat me like some stranger. They treated me like I was one of them and I I loved it and it was like a nice experience because I didn't have my family but I didn't feel alone. And don't get me wrong, it's like I it's not that I didn't have anybody in my family. I had my aunt that I did talk to, but, you know, she wasn't in the same area as me. So, yeah, like, she helped me um, do stuff for my kids' parties, and, like, we went trick-or-treating with them for the first time. She got their costumes. By the time we can get costumes, there wasn't anything left. They had little devil horns. And so we just found, like, little red outfits to put on them. And they got a lot of candy because they're twins and they're cute. And if you don't already know, if you have a cute kid, they're going to get a lot of candy. People give them extra. I don't know why, but it's just the thing because they do that with my three-year-old also. So, yeah, I don't know. Something about having a really cute kid gets you extra candy on Halloween. Who knew? But, anyways, um, I was just so thankful throughout that time of my life that even though I didn't have my family, I still had a family. I wasn't alone, and I had a support system. I had people that were there for me, like, no matter what. So, it was not as hard as it could have been you know being just completely alone with a bunch of problems because <laughs> yeah being a single mom of twins that need constant care constant therapy um can get a little on me so it was nice that even though you know I was alone I wasn't alone you know, I still had a family, even though it wasn't the one I was born into. And sometimes that's okay. Like, sometimes you just don't get along with the family you're born into, and it's nothing against you. It's just different views, different, a lot of different things. So, with mine, it might be a little bit of, not just different views, but as like we've talked about, I'm from two different cultures. So when I don't agree with parts of the other culture, it's an issue. Because I'm just supposed to think that way, do the way the things, the way they do things. And it's just like, but it's not right. So, <laughs> yeah, so you can bump heads for lots of reasons but definitely 
cherish your friends bottom line cherish your friends um like i loved having my niece a part of my life you know when my brother wasn't in my life and um through all his ups and downs with his ex it was nice you know how he was like well i don't know if i'm gonna get her and all this stuff and so it's like we couldn't see her through him so we saw her through my best friend through her mom because she didn't deny us access and we had come up with a bunch of things um so she's like you want to come get her so it was nice to have my niece in my life you know without having to go through my brother I don't like when people deny access to kids because of whatever they're going through. My kids didn't do anything. So, I hope you have a wonderful Friday.